Hi, everybody. How are you? I know it's late, but I've been wanting to do this react to Neo Tarot's Foodie Beauty's reading. Uh, her reading is called Foodie Beauty Hold Up. So I posted about her reading on my community tab earlier uh, and also on my Twitter. And I encouraged everybody to go and have a look because Neo Tarot, she's very talented. And I just wanted to show you guys what she had to say. Because if you remember, I did a tarot reading on Foodie. And it was quite amazing that, especially during the latter part of Neo Tarot's reading, when she was using the Rider Weight deck, she was pulling a lot of the same cards that I pulled for Foodie. Because I use the Rider Weight deck. And she uses two decks before the Rider Weight deck that I'm not familiar with, but once you got to the Rider Waite deck, I'm like, wow, we are pulling a lot of the same cards. So I wanted to react to her tarot reading and add my thoughts, as well as post her link for the video in the description for anyone who wants to check out her channel. She does really great readings. I love Neo Tarot because she is classy, sassy, and feisty, and I absolutely adore that. Also, I'd like to give a special thanks to the lovely and talented Erie Pepperoni, who made the intro that you just saw. She also made the other intro that I normally use for the Foodie Beauty Reacts. Erie's very talented that way, so thank you, Erie Pepperoni, for making those wonderful intros. Really appreciate it. So how about we just get into the reading from Neo Tarot, and you guys can see for yourself that Neo, she's on point with everything she says. She gets right to the point and uh it's very eye-opening so let's get to it why don't we so let me just go ahead and get started all the way back here there's neo tarot's uh intro love that and let's get to y'all hey y'all hey this reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes sometimes the tea is hot and sometimes it's not you have to watch the video to the end to determine for yourself if you're new here welcome and if you're always here welcome back friend what's up <laughs> all right so let's get into this reading this update for foodie beauty i had somebody recently asked me about um salah salah again and then i also had someone ask me about a reactor to her so you know this area this person you know, i just do it because y'all asked me to um there is a I, and i mean i'm gonna keep it real because i don't i, I have to do it i have to do it <laughs> every time i try to ring my bell when it kind of heard the bell don't want to fucking ring um interesting okay i'm getting all the downloads now <laughs> <laughs> You can ring my bell, ring my bell, my bell. There's something about that song that connects to her. Something about ringing bells, not my problem. All right, so the energy is just kind of weird. And so I just got to say that up front. So don't take how I'm reading this the wrong way. It's just my way of jumping in and then wanting to jump out, okay? All right, so Spirit is acknowledging when it comes to Foodie Beauty that there is a swirl of communication. There is ancestral energy around her. She needs to get grounded. There is some type of divination practice. There's also music being played, but also a beverage in hand, which lets me know that there is some, some type of excessiveness uh, or trying to escape something through the use of a beverage, okay? Because you don't like where you are right now. You don't like that. And it's interesting because, you know, the other download is you have to sit in the shit that you, that you, that you did. Like, you know what I'm saying? When they say, the, uh, sit on a pot, get up or get, what's this? I don't even know. Poop or get off the pot is what you're looking for. <laughs> That's the old saying. Uh, but uh, as far as the beverage in hand, well, foodie's known for indulging in a lot of things, but food is her main. But I could see why the cards didn't name the food, but the bottle in hand could be a substitute for food. Phrase. It's something like that, but you got to sit in it. You know what I'm saying? And you got to, you got to understand like 
this is how you got here. This is based on your choices, not my business, okay? Mm -hmm. But this red lets me know that she needs to get grounded. And so there is some divination of wanting to get grounded, wanting things to be better, but also an energy of you just being very nonchalant and throwing three three sheets to the wind when you get upset. Like, fuck it kind of energy. You know what I'm saying? So there's rebellion, merriment, overindulgence. That's the energy, overindulgence. Yep. What are you overindulging in? At the heart of yep. everything, absolutely everything, everything she can get her hands on. And since she's in Kuwait, the only thing she can really get her hands on right now is food. And she's been way, way overdoing it. More than she ever did when she was back home in Canada. There is an energy of white and white always makes me feel like peace. Mm -hmm. Now, this situation, which feels chaotic, is her trying to put boats into the water to gain direction. Now, this could show movement. Like very spirit is yelling movement, moving, trying to get away, trying to figure out what will stick. OK, because both equal direction to me. There's a water here. This could be a water sign. This could just be emotional. But what is she chasing? She's chasing fulfillment. She wants enthusiasm, following bliss and money, passion projects, passion projects. Now, that's interesting because what is it? The project, like, not my business. OK, so and spirit is acknowledging do you because the power that we have in this realm is choice. Now, being directionless and trying to gain direction is because your path is windy. Now, the path is windy because this is the path that you chose. Good choices equal good karma. Bad choices equal bad karma. And Spirit is saying that we are in the realm of choice. And so this is what you've chosen. Mm -hmm. And so with that choice, you need to go ahead, either get on the path, stay on the path or get off the path and follow the path of righteousness. If you don't enjoy these bumps and these turns and these curves, get off of it. Not my business. It is your life. You get to do whatever you choose. But Sorry to interrupt you, Neo, but the problem with Foodie is that she tends to work a bit backwards where most of us would get bumps in the road and say, I don't like it. It doesn't feel good. I think I want off this path. Foodie embraces the bumps and she gets comfortable with them where she should not get comfortable. She likes drama. She likes chaos. She operates in chaos. She likes the whirlwind. She likes the hurricane. She likes the tsunami. She likes the earthquake. Or most of us would get scared by those things. She says, oh, something exciting in my world. So she doesn't really know how, I think, to distinguish what's bad from good because they kind of both mold together. Uh, she embraces the role of being a bad guy, of being the villain. And she just can't separate her online persona from the person off camera. Because essentially both are now one and the same. But just know, enjoy the journey because this is the route that you chose to take. Okay? Not my business. Spirit is also acknowledging that there's some earth sign energy. Now, this is quite interesting because in the middle of the deck, Spirit wants me to know and for me to tell you guys that she's like, this is cool. I like it here. Slowing down, being in nature, thankful. There's some earth sign energy on this card as well. And this just lets you know, like, regardless of what's happening in my exterior, I feel like this is a comfortable space for me. Well, Chantal, Foodie Beauty, she's one of those fake it till you make it kind of people, especially on the outside. If she's feeling any kind of trouble, if she knows she's done wrong, if she's just doing things wrong in general, she'll never admit it to anybody because she's arrogant and she's vain and she's narcissistic. And the one thing she will not sacrifice is her pride. She'll sacrifice everything but that. And there's an old saying, pride goeth before fall. Well, she's choking on her pride. She just can't swallow it. Uh, although that would be the one thing if she did swallow it, if she humbled herself, if she surrendered to the universe, surrendered to the spirit, surrendered to just the truth, that's when growth would begin. But because she just presses it down, she just pushes it down, no growth can happen. She's stopping herself from growing. She's stopping herself from being better. And in my opinion, I think one of the reasons why she refuses to look into the mirror and see her own reflection is because if she had to face herself, if she had to face all the awful things she'd said and all the awful things she'd done, she it would be overwhelming. 
absolutely overwhelming. Like she wouldn't know how to deal with it. So she avoids that moment of truth and surrender by just living in delusion. <laughs> Not my business. Okay. And Spirit said there's something else in the middle of the deck for Foodie Beauty. What is her real name? Because Spirit is like, you know, Chantal. You know what? <sighs> I don't know what her real name is. Um, but there's an energy of wanting to call upon her real name because I feel like there might be an even deeper connection, but not my problem. Okay, so Spirit is also acknowledging, looking forward, that there are mountains. So there are still ups and downs. Keep your eyes on the prize, but focus on your choices. And these ups and downs are going to bring turmoil. It is going to bring a sudden change, necessary shakeup and transformation with hope to get her in alignment because she is off of her righteous path. Spirit. Well, I'm sorry to say it, but she's been off her righteous path for a while. And I don't know exactly when that turn in the road happened. It might have happened before YouTube, but it certainly happened on YouTube because who she was in the beginning of her YouTube channel, how she started, she's changed a lot since then. Uh, over time, her YouTube persona just became overblown, over exaggerated, more dramatic. Uh, anybody going back through her channel, you can see the change. She went from being Chantal Marie to strictly foodie beauty. And in my opinion, I think that's a big part of the problem. Because even if you have a YouTube persona, a personality, if you will, that you portray to people through your channel, when the camera's turned off, you have to just be yourself. So she lost the plot. She wanted to stay on stage all the time and just be the persona because Chantal Marie, the person off camera is very much alone and doesn't have friends, doesn't really have a social life. She didn't put any work into cultivating her self-worth. She threw everything into the persona Foodie Beauty because Foodie Beauty has everything Chantal Marie does not. She can turn on a camera and go live and everybody wants to talk to her. The persona Foodie Beauty makes lots of money uh, online. She's adored by people. So she just put more importance into the persona than the person. And therefore the person, the, that life began to suffer and rot and decay. And here we are with the end result. She said that there's something bubbling at the belly and bubbling at the throat. There's nothing that she can do about this energy coming through because again, it is with hope to get her on her aligned path. This is green. It has to do with matters of the heart, but it's going to be a revelation. It's going to be um, surprising news. It's going to be a text. It could even be phone call. It could be information mm -hmm. that she, listen, seriously, spirits like she doesn't want out. Okay. And there could be a recording. It could be voice or it could be actual video, but she doesn't want it out. And this energy definitely has her feeling some kind of way. It makes me feel like someone could be possibly sabotaging her because it feels like she's drowning in this emotion that she can't fight back. And the message to get her into this emotional abyss was lured in with adder, adder, intimacy, proposal, a message of love. You see what I'm saying? And it feels like she's drowning in this. And then you got this hand like reaching out, like, let me help you. This is divine. This is divinity. This is spirit. This is ancestors. This is the universe call the highest vibrating source what you choose but they want you they want to help like you know what i'm saying i feel like that is ancestral energy when they go and they go into the other realm they really do want to help us because they've lived this life and they're like let me help you please so are you going to take the hand that's not my business there's a huge gap it feels like she's reaching out but will she commit that's not i don't know you know i just have all the questions right but you know Every person in this world, when you are involved in something that you really shouldn't be involved with, around people, going to places, doing things that are not good for you, they're not good for you physically or emotionally or emotionally or psychologically, spirit will let you know. There will be road signs. There will be all kinds of signs that this isn't where you need to be. This is not what you should be doing. And it will most often come in the form of 
discomfort and pain and sadness and depression and just negative feelings or negative circumstance or situations. So if you're doing something or you're around somebody and it's not meant for you, it's not something that's good for you. The pain is, it's a road sign and you should pay attention to it. Fodi has involved herself with someone that is really not meant for her. She wants to be in love. She wants to be in a relationship, but in her haste to find that, she just picks somebody and it's not the person for her. And all of these horrible things have happened as a result. And it's all her fault because she didn't want to go about things the right way and build herself up and make herself into a good person to attract another good person. She is a bad person, a really bad person who in her arrogance, she thinks that because she makes a lot of money on YouTube and because she has a YouTube channel, that that alone will excuse all of her bad parts and all of her misdeeds, that the money will make others just see past all the bad and just focus on the paychecks, you see? So she's known for a long time that this thing with Salah, it's not really meant for her. It is not the real deal. She's been aware of that the whole time. Yet, essentially, Salah is the best she can do given how she is. But in her desperation, she chose to hold on to it. And doing that, it's it's like holding on to a teddy bear full of battery acid. You hold on to it and you hold on to it, but the tighter you squeeze it, the more it hurts you. And yet, despite all the hurt, she won't let it go. Not at all. Because like she threw all of her eggs in one basket and she's not going to let that basket out of her sight. But um, Spirit is saying that 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 you can you can receive this help through truthful communication, integrity, divine intervention, surrender, and reconciliation. The surrender part is screaming heavy because if you surrender, you can receive the reconciliation. Yeah, it's going to come with some things. You know what I'm saying? Water sign energy, or it could be emotional. It's going to come with some things, but it requires you to acknowledge and accept accountability and responsibility for the actions. Okay. And that's that with that dick. Okay. Okay. That, that's right. And I've said that. I think a lot of people have said that, you know, that she just needs to surrender. She needs to surrender to truth. She needs to just say, I've got problems and I've got issues and I've got addictions and all of these things are way over my head. Uh, they're out of my control. I don't know what I'm doing. I've done a lot of wrong by surrendering and just being truthful. That is the start of creating self-awareness and taking accountability and growing as a person. But she just will not surrender. She will not let go of control and let the surrender happen because surrender is not going on. She's going to be forever stuck in the hole that she put herself in. Because I feel like an orator. I feel like I'm talking and talking. All right. So foodie beauty, current energy. Thank you, spirit. Okay. We do get the therapist in reverse. Are you trying to help someone? Are you trying to give people advice? Are you trying to coach something, coach someone? Are you trying to give a course? It's something that you're trying to do. And it's actually coming up as a therapist in reverse. Mm -hmm. So frustration, not open to advice, traumatization, self-destruction, rejection, back shame, boiling point, guilt, mm -hmm. feeling ignored, lack of support, crisis, fears, ego, issues, mental health issues, wow. suppressing feelings and making excuses. So if you're trying to be helped. She's guilty of all of the above, all of them, everything you just named, everything, <laughs> everything that that is everything you just said, every word applied to her, every single word. 
Uh, but it could also be what just happened recently because she's making videos now offering up all these health products from a company that's an MLM, the pyramid scheme. She's talking about all these health benefits and yet she's someone and she's terribly sick. So is she in the position to offer advice to people? No, because what she's doing is spreading misinformation about said products. And really what she should be focusing on is healing herself, not trying to sell something to other people to help them. And it might end up harming them. This is not the time. This is not the time to try to do anything to help others or to give anybody any type of information yep. because you need to seek information is what spirit is saying. Yep. Spirit is saying you have, ide you have like identity issues. Does that make sense? And that you really, oh, there it is. Do you have identity issues? Oh yes, she does. Because as I just said a little while ago, I, I honestly feel that there is no more Chantal Marie. I think she's lost touch with herself as a person and she's now just the persona. And even in Hollywood with actors and actresses that are well paid, that get paid millions of dollars per picture, even when they're on a movie set and they're playing a role, when the camera's turned off, they go back to their dressing rooms, they change out of their costumes or their clothes, they take off the makeup, and they walk out the door and they are who they are. You know, <laughs> they are not their role all the time. But Foodie just doesn't know how to transition from just keeping it separate, keeping it separated. Just knowing when it is to be a person and live as a person and then learn when to turn the persona on. She just wants to be one way all the time because that's where she put all of her value and her self-worth. Really need to seek support. You need a therapist even. Um, but it feels like you don't want that because oh. maybe you don't want to know the truth or maybe you don't want to acknowledge. Now, that goes back to respect, a responsibility. Respect came up too. Okay, okay. I, I res Foodie rejects anything that has to do with the truth. She doesn't want to hear the truth from people who are subscribers. She doesn't want to hear the truth from her family. She doesn't want to hear the truth from anybody. Anything where truth might be, anyone that might give it to her, she just closes up her ears and fills them full of wax. You're right. She needs therapy, but she never get therapy because when you go to therapy, you're one-on-one -on -one with somebody and they're asking the hard questions and the only way that you're going to grow in a therapy session is to give honest answers. And she's got a really big problem with honesty. She can't be honest with any with anybody. And she even can't be honest with herself. You know, it's just second nature for her to lie and live in that world of delusion and dishonesty. Receive that responsibility and um, accountability. Mm -hmm. All the illities. Okay. <laughs> what is that? All right, foodie, beauty, current energy. Okay. All right, so she's waiting for this commitment, this ring, this promise. I don't know if she's married. I can't recall, you guys. But on the on the surface, like that's where her focus is, planning for the future and this love. Um, but Spirit is saying subconsciously with just friends in reverse, that's not what it really is. And you know what it is. Spirit says this rejection, ghosting, and friends with benefits is the real underlining issue of your relationship. And Spirit said here in the minute, someone is going to ask for time apart, boundaries, and no contact with give me space. And they're saying that this is because there's issues with your health. This is not just mental. This is also physical. And Spirit is saying you need to exercise. I see exercise on this card. I also see that there's issues with your heart, so pay attention. And all of this stuff is happening. I see a rainbow again because they want to get you into alignment. Spirit is also acknowledging with social media in reverse, you have this way to portray who you are, but Spirit is also acknowledging that these are just illusions. This is self-absorption. This is obsession, and this is superficial. Okay? And Spirit... Yeah, like she She's got a lot of obsessions. Anything that Foodie likes, it becomes an addiction and then an obsession. 
She doesn't know how to just do things in equal measure. It's either one or the other. She is a person of extremes. So addressing the first card where she's waiting for a ring or some sort of commitment. I feel that in the beginning, when she and Salah got together, there was a financial agreement, something that was talked out and linked about who would do what. And there were promises made on both sides about what each would do, what each would deliver. And there's been a lot of disappointment because neither one could deliver what was promised, but especially her. Uh, I'm sure that she promised Salah a lot of things about taking him places and doing things for him. And he's been waiting patiently and it, nothing has happened. And he's seeing her getting progressively worse and he really can't do anything about it. In the reading that I did, Neo, my cards were screaming at me, absolutely screaming, especially during the latter part of my reading. I just, I felt it like I felt that energy of independence. I mean, that's the word that kept popping in my mind, independence, him wanting to break free, him wanting to do his own thing. He's a young man. And I just felt this energy of just, he's, he's tired of waiting around. He's tired of not being able to go out, have fun, do his thing, spend time with friends. He wants to spread his wings and he wants to fly. And for an entire year, he could not fly. He's, he was getting restless. He's very unhappy. Uh, dealing with her is a lot. It's just worn him out. It's stressed him out. And he's reached the boiling point where he's saying enough is enough. Uh, I don't want this burden anymore. I don't want the burden of somebody's mood swings and temper tantrums and whatever else there is they're going through. I want to go out and live. So he, he wants that space. He wants that personal space to do his thing and do all the things that he misses doing because he has been missing being active. He hasn't been active in a long time. And it's all because of being connected to her and her just wanting to stay at home, wanting to be a homebody, just stay in the house where it's safe, where no one can bother her. Nobody can see her. You know, it's just, it's just two different personality types. Uh, one person being active, the other person not being active. One person not being in a fast food, the other one being to fast food. They were total opposites from the get, and they're still total opposites. But yeah, she is very much absorbed into the illusion of herself, the self-absorption, and just uh, just looking for, uh, you know, like looking for the the butt pats, looking for the reinforcement, looking for everything except the truth. Spirit wants you to do the right thing. Spirit is also acknowledging that you've got some one night stands in the closet. And this is something that is going to be exposed. Now, remember, this is alleged and for entertainment purposes. I just read the inner. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> one night stand. Hmm. Well, we know the foodie's not been having any one night stands. She prefers to stay at home and do nothing. So who else could be having some one night stands? And would you look at the color of that card? Red. Looks like a red room. Yeah. What did I say? If a person wants to step out and do their thing, they're going to find a partner. They're going to find a time, a place, and an opportunity. And nothing and no one is going to stop them. So, so, looks like Salah might be being a very, very bad boy. Or maybe not. Because if it was just a business agreement, then she really had no true claim on him. It was just him playing a role. But playing a role does not mean honest, true, monogamous commitment. But for those of us that react to foodie, we know how it goes in her world. That if she's around you for five minutes and you're a man, she's going to fall in love. And if she falls in love, that means you belong to her and she's claimed you, even if you've not claimed her back. So 
Yes, there's a business arrangement of some sort, just some sort of agreement. He's been holding up his end of the deal as far as playing the part of the husband. But maybe she thought somewhere in all of the gift giving and the money giving that he would honestly fall in love. And it hasn't happened yet. And why is that? Because he wasn't into her from the very beginning. And she knew that and she chose to ignore that. Energy, but there's an energy around you having poor health and you also trying to fulfill these illusions on social media and also this energy of someone needed to take a time out. Now, this is layer. This could be you or this could be your significant other. And this could be both of you, but there's this fast, sudden connection and sex positivity and really focusing on pleasure. So, you know, trying to get it out there like this is sex positivity. Okay. I just got a thought in my head, so I have to share it. So here's what spirit just told me. It said, Chantal and Salah, they wanted to be with the loves of their life. So the love of Chantal's life is food and the love of Salah's life. Well, that remains to be seen. But in all the readings that I did on Salah, the Empress card kept popping up. Y'all remember the blonde. Now, what's strange about the Empress card when I pulled her for a long time, she was popping up. And then there was a period of time when her card stopped appearing and then it appeared again, very, very close to Salah, very close to his main card because I do like the, the, the spread, but she was very, very close to Salah. She's back and she's close to him. And I didn't feel the energy of a mother or a sister. I didn't feel that family energy. I felt someone like relationship energy with the two of them. So whoever she is, she's back. And that is someone that really, really has his interest, his true interest, the interest that foodie wishes would be on her. It's actually on somebody else. Um, this is healthy, et cetera, et cetera, but it's still a one night stand. And so it leaves you unfulfilled. It leaves this person unfulfilled. Somebody is hooking up. Somebody is doing something, darling. So open thy eyes. Sounds like Salah. Eyes. Okay. Uh, look, and spirit, see, now this is the part. This is the part. Spirit is also acknowledging that you and your significant other have religious differences. Someone feels holier than thou and someone feels very judged. And they want to release this relationship because addiction in reverse, they want to release the bad behavior and they are aware of the toxicity and or manipulation, sending you love and light. Now, I do know what, that his name is Salah, right, y'all? Okay, so Foodie Beauty and Salah. It's my opinion that Foodie, she basically cosplayed at being a Muslim woman. She never took the faith into her heart. So the words that popped into my head just doing this reading is that she did what she did. She put on the abaya. She put on the hijab to hide her sin. You know, like thinking that was going to cover up her dirt. And it didn't because no matter what belief you're involved in, Whatever you do, you do. And it's not going to cover up your dirt. The dirt will always come shining through, especially if you have a very dishonest heart, which she does. All right. So magical moment. Someone is alone and enjoying time by themselves. It keeps hinting that you guys probably won't be together much longer. And that's not my business sending you love and light. The goal is not to, you know, attack or hurt or ridicule or belittle. The goal is to bring information to the light so that you can see clearly enjoying the single life, traveling, celebrations, events, dating, and or enjoying one's own company. Okay. Now on the bottom of the deck subconsciously this is a soul tie and this is why you can't get out and i believe i said that in the last reading that this is karmic and once you learn a lesson once you release and move on you can breathe again <laughs> because right now it feels like you're you, like you're always gasping for air you don't know what's going to happen next and this is typical with a soul tie having an emotional and or spiritual connection with someone that seems unbreakable a soulmate and or a karmic partner okay and they want out i'm just telling you 
Okay, I'm going to stop right here. Again, sorry for interrupting you, Neo. I would like to say something about soulmates. So I'm sure a lot of us have heard the term soulmates, but a lot of people tend to think of soulmates in a romantic sense, like uh, an intimacy, romantic, sensual sense. But you got to go beyond that. You got to expand that and make it much more broad. A soulmate could be any number of people. It could be it could be an intimate romantic partner, but it could also be anything or anyone where there could be like a partnership for a very short period of time. It could be someone that you write a successful song with. It could be someone that you create a successful business with. But also people are brought together to teach us lessons and make us better people. They could be hard lessons. They could be easy lessons. But sometimes the people that you meet and you talk to and you get interested in, sometimes they're there to help us grow and, and inspire us, uh, make us more creative, to teach us lessons that we need to know, to make us wise to make us more experienced. They could be in your life for a minute or an hour or a year or a month. It all depends on the purpose. So how that pertains to Foodie and Salah? Well, Foodie's a bit hard headed. She's always been hard headed and she doesn't learn lessons easily or quickly. Uh, and so she is doomed to repeat the same lessons over and over and over again. And I feel that's just spirit reaching out to her and saying, look, you're going to have keep going through all of this over and over again until you get it. And I think maybe one of the lessons that spirit is trying to teach her is don't put all of your self-worth and self-value in another person. Don't go chasing after strange men and not loving yourself and loving them more than yourself and giving them more than yourself. You need to put this more value in yourself than a stranger and, and stop trying to buy their love. That's just stupid. Uh, it's trying to teach her a bunch of things by making her go through the same experience over and over and over again. Honestly, she should have listened uh, she should have learned a lot of lessons with Natter, but she didn't. So she went with Salah. And although Salah is a different personality type, the same situation has happened, hasn't it? So she should have learned with Natter. She did not learn. Then she moved over to Salah, still didn't learn. And the lesson is continuing. And if she wants the pain and suffering to stop, She's got to change. She's got to grow. She's got to grow up. She's got to just stop running after that which does not belong with her and stop trying to buy people. Well, I don't know which one, but they want out of there. And the reason is, is because they're looking at somebody else. They're looking, they're completely engaged with lovey pictures and lovely, pic lovely pictures, loving pictures of another female sending you love and like. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh did y'all catch that last part? So somebody is looking at loving pictures of a female. Mmm. Salah. You know what a mistake that is. Don't let Foodie catch that on your phone, sir. You get in trouble. <laughs> You're going to get in big trouble if she catches you with that on your phone. But I believe it. I, we all know about the Red Room picture. We saw it. That picture that got circulated around. That he was in the bed with another female and foodie got all the way upset about that she said oh that's just from his past but you know what bothered her so yeah uh his focus is on somebody else foodie trust me my cards have been screaming that it screamed that the last reading i did he's got somebody in his sights and let me just say this for a moment Something to add to that. So when Salah and Chantal got together, 
our first thought was he's with her because of papers him wanting to go to canada that was everybody's first thought and maybe that was the case at the time maybe that was the plan for him to come to canada but what if there was another possibility that we never thought of because it just wasn't in our sights at the time what if this whole thing of Salah being with Chantal, it wasn't about the papers. It was certainly about the money. He likes the money. He likes all the nice things that she bought him. But what if, because of his infatuation and his adoration of the empress woman, the blonde woman, what if it was really about her? The feeling that I got off the Empress card is that this woman, she's she's not from a poor family, that she she's not wealthy, rich, rich, but she's well taken care of. She comes from a good family. And maybe this woman has a family that in order for Salah to be with her, that he has to show that he is on her level financially. So what if Salah being with Chantal, that was him trying to find a way to fast track being successful and having money to get approval from this woman and her family? Maybe that was the, the goal the entire time. I'm not saying that was a for sure thing, but if he is focused on this woman, has been focused on this woman, he wants to impress her, uh, if he doesn't have money, he doesn't have his own means, then he might try to find a shortcut and looking at Foodie to just be that shortcut and having to deal with all of the, the, the tsunami, earthquake, stressful happenings of Foodie trying to get there. And here we are a year later, and maybe he's finally figured out that it's just not going to happen and therefore he wants to let go. So Spirit said to go ahead and ask the question. So Salah, how does he see, what is his energy towards foodie beauty? Okay. Okay, we got a heart attack. Second time we hear something about her heart, sending her love and light, facing anxieties, facing worries, facing fears, but we do get heart attack, okay? So devastated, shocking, and or heartbreaking news about something or someone. So and I'm asking how he sees her. Is she going to be devastated? It feels like it. She's also going to be cold as ice once this information comes out. Water is typically flowy, so now it's very hard and stoic. It's not giving life. It's just frozen. It's pausing. It's standing still. Okay, water could be an emotional, could be a water sign. Um, but now it's rigged games. And look at this mouth, this finger is over the... Okay, I'm going to give you guys my feeling from this reading. Just mine alone. So, we know Foodie. We know her. Uh, what's that saying? Hell hath no fury like a scorned woman. And when Foodie gets scorned, especially in matters of the heart, she is at her most wrathful and vengeful. When she was with Natter, when she was good with him, she was good. But when he spurned her and he scorned her, she went full throttle. She went nuclear. So all the things she's done for Salah, every little, little thing she's done for him, all the money that she spent on him, going to Kuwait, giving up the villa, Pete's, the cats. Like to her, that looks like the greatest sacrifice. And she's saying to herself, because I sacrificed so much, I deserve the greatest reward. Him, he owes me. So if something happens that he wants to let go before she lets go, if there is the empress in the background, that she's there and she finds out about her some way, somehow. Foodie hates other women. And to find out that another woman is around her man. Ooh. Ooh. And she, rigged games. Sounds like she might want to play ugly.
the mouth like, I'm going to be quiet about it. Um, we do have this symbol right here. Do y'all know what this symbol means? Where are they at? Um, this is giving me energy like Egypt. So this is called the Ankh. Okay. And it's an ancient Egyptian symbol, which symbolizes the many aspects of life, including physical life, eternal life, immortal immortality, death, and reincarnation. Interesting that that would come up. Um, I don't I don't know where they are. I don't know where they're located. But there's this energy of 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 wanting me to acknowledge that there is some Egyptian um, influence or. It's starting to get a little deep now because spirit is laying that somebody practices that brouhaha, not my business, manipulation and or intervening from a close friend or family member, usually a female, um, to cause a breakup in a relationship. A jealous person who lies and causes drama is the energy on this card. Okay. I don't know about a jealous friend or family member because Foodie really doesn't have any female friends and her family members really don't care. So given the fact that the card had a Egyptian symbol, the Ankh, the first thought that came to my mind was Natter. Because Natter was once the sugar baby before Salah. And he wants Foodie back. If for anything, for the drama, for the views, for the money. So he would do whatever it is he could do to get her back. I mean, even now he still talks about her. He desperately wants her to come back to Canada. So Natter is shysty and he's sneaky. He would try his best to get in the middle of everything and benefit somehow. So I don't know about it being a female. It might be Natter getting in her ear, whispering in her ear. And if something happens with the Empress and with Salah, then of course he's going to want to jump in and take over. Now that makes sense, okay? I'm just saying from my past readings, um, from some of the comments that you guys have left, it's starting to come together just a little bit for me. All right, and then how does Foodie Beauty see Salah? Okay. Um, she sees him as her person. She's like, this is my boo. This is my man, my man, my man. I love him. You know what I'm saying? And okay, immediately... When you put down this card, Neil, the first thing that, that came to my mind, believe it or not, was her ex-roommate, ex-fiance, boyfriend, Pete's. Because for Pete's, Foodie was his favorite person. The one person that he felt the most comfortable with. He loved her to death, adored her, accepted her as she was. But she just lost interest in him, so she moved on to somebody else. But it's just interesting that Foodie looks at Salah as her person. And once upon a time, Pete's looked at Foodie the same way. So it's kind of like the, bat the baton has been passed. You know, like Pete's lost his favorite person. And it looks like Chantal's about to lose her favorite person. Which I feel is, it's, it's a balance. Because she hurt Pete's a lot. She did him dirty. So it would be almost karmic that the same thing would happen to her. And that's interesting because his energy was definitely different. Um, she sees him as the one and her soulmate in a long-term relationship. Um, subconsciously, there's no sorries allowed. So that's interesting. Uh, so what she wants to show everybody is that's my man, my man, my man. But with no sorries, uh, no sorries allowed, subconsciously, she's acknowledging that she's not willing to forgive him or forget a past situation and that she is guarded. Um, and in the middle of the deck, this is because there's love like fire happening. Now, what happened? There's some extreme chemistry or connection with someone. Who is he um, sitting by the fire? Ooh. with because that's on her Ooh, fire is red red room mine that's in the middle of the deck where we can't see she knows he be booed up with somebody else not my business okay interesting interesting i don't know why spirit wants me to go back to this maybe it's maybe it's foodie still holding on to a grudge because of the red room picture like she is one of those she's she's not gonna let you forget that because not only was that maybe a bit embarrassing for her, but it was a blow to her pride. 
you know, she, she wants a lot to be proud of her. She wants to have all of his attention. And then a picture of him in the red room with the other woman popped up and the woman that he was with was uh, very slim and attractive, which was more of a blow to her because she's very insecure about herself and she's very jealous and she just can't get over it. And not only that, I think she uses that as a weapon to throw in his face, which is going to cause further space between them. But, you know, it's, she uses everything as a weapon, but if you wrong her, it becomes more of a weapon and she's, it's just going to, she's going to hit you harder with it as in an effort to control you. This deck, I don't, oh my goodness. Okay. How does, oh, how does Fruity Beauty see Salah? Okay. This is interesting. She sees him as the goddess, the universe, soul, Source energy, love for all, understanding, endings, nature, God, power, success, wholeness, completion, divine, achievement, success, totality, the public, demigoddess, natural, priestess, divine being, righteous, higher self, cleanliness, angelic, spirituality, purity, self-mastery, creation, and new beginnings. That's how she sees him. Okay, wow. okay the goddess card, when you pulled that, Neo... The energy that I got off of that was uh, the goddess. She, the goddess is nurturing. She is motherly. She is caring. She's protective. She's a guardian. Foodie has said about Salah, he is my guardian. He protects me. He looks after me. So I don't think she sees him in a feminine sense. It's just that Foodie has very aggressive, intense, hard energy. There's no other way to really describe it. It's hard energy. It's a very, she's, she's very hard, not like, like a uh, tough, hard, but just, you know, like uh, in your face, whereas Salah is a bit more laid back, relaxed, peaceful, easygoing. Uh, he has that energy that is soothing to her uh, and very nurturing. And it's strange that she seeks out that kind of energy, even though, she herself cannot give that energy to others. She seeks out in others what she can. She herself cannot give. And she feeds off of that uh, a lot, but she just doesn't give it back. So she looks at Salah for the nurturing, for the soothing. Uh, she, she wants to be taken care of. And, and she just found it in Salah and she's gravitated towards him. And she is very much attached to him because of that. Wow. Say it ain't so. All right. So foodie, beauty, current energy. Okay. Okay. Facing the moon again. This Okay. We're, we're getting into the uh, rider weight reading, rider weight part of her reading. And a lot of the cards she's about to pull out, they appeared in my last reading. This is the part that really freaked me out. I'm like, how is it that two different tarot readers that don't know each other were pulling a lot of the same cards? But I'm gonna let her talk. This card came out with the other the other deck. So there's an energy of um, mountains in the background. Thank you. There's also an energy of a manifestation or something coming to light. There's also an energy of things coming out of the darkness. Okay. Things coming out of the darkness, making me feel like things coming out of the closet. There are Pisces energy all over this car. So it could be emotional. We could be talking about a water sign, but it does send her in an energy of panic, fear, chaos, insecurity. Okay. Spirit is acknowledging that this is getting ready to happen fast. Something is getting ready to happen fast. And there's some Sagittarius energy on here. So it's a fire sign could be in the area of passion or business, but it's happening fast. It's quick movement and it's going to create a lot of change for her. In the middle of the deck, Spirit wants her to know that she needs to have balance at this time, that she needs to focus on purpose and the underlying... Ooh, the, the tower card. I pulled that one. Ooh, that's not good. Finding meaning. Again, we see water. We see these mountains in the background, just letting me know that she's dealing with a lot of ups and downs. But this has to do with the home and how the home is getting ready to blow the up. Like, what? You know what I've noticed, Neil? Like, throughout your readings, even with the other cards that were not the Rider weight deck, there's been the ongoing theme of mountains. Have, did you notice that too? Like mountains, mountains everywhere. Just that, that 
it just seems to keep popping up, doesn't it? Just mountains every place on these cards. What the hell, y'all? Disaster, upheaval, sudden change, and a revelation. The money, that the hardworking money, all those seeds that you sown, look at them. It's not reaping a, a bountiful harvest no. at this point. To be honest, Neil, I think the seeds that she's been planting for the past year were not seeds that she wanted to plant or she had a passion to plant. The seeds that she put into the ground were somebody else's idea. Uh, I think Salah has been behind her and just trying to get her to do anything and everything, just trying to make that quick, 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 quick money. Like, do this, do this, do this. Do an ambiance channel. Do this. Go on TikTok. And honestly, she just doesn't want to. She doesn't have a passion for these things. But from his urging, she's like, just to make him happy, just to, to quiet him down. She's like, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. She does it, but she doesn't want to do it. She doesn't have a passion for the things that she's been doing. And she's lost interest. You know, the, the harder he pushes her, the less she wants to do. And it's gotten to the point where even just doing the mukbangs, which used to be a lot of fun for her and she had fun with, she's not having fun with it anymore. And I feel that the reason for that is when she was in Canada and she was doing the mukbangs, she was in control. She could go where she wanted to go. She could eat what she wanted to eat. She had full control over all of it. But then the moment she hooked up with Salah and gave him control, uh, she didn't have a say so. And being that she's a control freak, uh, that's just unacceptable. But yet she allowed it to happen. She wanted to give over responsibility because she didn't want the burden of responsibility. But by doing that, she gave up her independence and therefore made herself much more unhappy by her own hand, by her own choice. There's limited success, limited reward, and a lack of a long-term vision because the house has come crumbling down. Yep. Spirit is acknowledging that someone is moving on with the Five of Cups in the reverse. There's some Scorpio energy on here. Water sign could be a water sign, could just be emotional, but accepting that it's time to move on and also offering a sense of forgiveness because with the Two of Wands in reverse, fire sign energy, this relationship, it feels like a relationship or just the past passion that someone has in, re in regards to romance and even work is, is dwindling. It's a very low flame. So there's a fear of an unknown and a lack of planning. There's still something that is not complete in this relationship or complete for her. And this is why it feels karmic because you haven't learned the lesson yet. It's a lack of closure. And that's so scary. Okay. What's I mean, the problem with Foodie is that there is no such thing as closure in her world. There is no such thing as I've learned a lesson. Now it's time to move on. Or I was with this person and we've run our course. Now it's time to move on. In Foodie's world, she doesn't let you move on until she sucked you completely dry. Then she just drops you out of her web and looks, looks for another piece of prey. So it's not about just progressions and chapters in a life. And once the chapter's over, move on to the next one. She doesn't work like that. She's very manipulative. She's very evil. And she's all about just being a soul sucker. That's the only way to describe it. You're dealing with a very negative, 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 negative person that doesn't want to learn their lessons. And so life just has to treat her hard because she, you know, pulls it upon herself for that to happen. What's her biggest obstacle? What's Foodie Beauty's biggest obstacle? The biggest obstacle is herself. I mean, that's the, the short, quick answer. The biggest obstacle is herself. She is getting in her own way. I said it in other tarot readings. She and Salah are in each other's way for success, for being happy, for everything. Once they get out of each other's way, they'll be a lot happier. But the problem with Foodie is he can let go, but she can't. She doesn't want to let go because if she lets go, she looks at that as defeat and she doesn't like to lose. So in order to keep from losing, she will hold on to a person, a place or a situation that is not good for her 
just so she doesn't look like a loser, even though she's losing everything at the same time. Okay. Remember, I read Biggest Obstacle in Reverse. Recovery from a financial loss is an obstacle, and spiritual poverty is an obstacle with the Five of Pentacles in Reverse. Also, isolation is an obstacle, loneliness is an obstacle, and withdrawal is an obstacle with the Hermit card. Virgo energy is on that because you're not able to have introspection. You're not able to have hindsight. You're not able to soul search. You're not able to listen to your intuition and tap into the inner guidance that is being given to you. Another obstacle for her is the Knight of Swords in reverse. She's not able to think clearly and think quick enough to get organized and proceed. She's not able to be independent. She's not able to have um, perception. Interesting. I think that honestly, Neo, like she is just blocked. All channels are blocked and she blocked them. The picture I'm getting right now in my head of foodie, like with the blockage is, is this, like she's got her fingers in her ears saying, la, 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 la. I can't hear you. I don't want to hear you. I don't want to change. I don't want to be better. Go away. I just want to stay the way that I am. That's foodie. That's the picture I'm getting. Just the messages want to come through, but she is just, she's walled off. She's blocked off. And she's saying, I, I'm going to stay how I am. And no one is going to make me be any other way. And that's just how it is. Like she is just that defiant. Like she's pushing everything and anyone away who tries to help her. And, and she's just stonewalling anything that might promote growth or change because she has said it herself that change scares her. And change makes her uncomfortable. And anything that makes her uncomfortable, she wants nothing to do with it. So if she's not willing to go through the lessons and be uncomfortable, she's not going to grow. Interesting. All right. Those are obstacles. What's next for Foodie Beauty? Can take another heartbreak. What's next? Uh, lack of closure because you're not ready to take accountability and responsibility for your actions. And so this feels like a lesson that has yet to be passed. Okay. With the world card in reverse. Spirit of and if you don't pass your lesson, you are doomed to repeat it. So whatever pain and suffering you go through with the lesson, if you don't get the lesson right, if you don't choose the right answer, it's going to happen again. And again, and again, and again, and again, until you finally understand there's a lesson here and you need to learn and you open yourself up for the learning. And then once you get the right answer, you can proceed. But Foodie does not want to learn. Some answers are found from within Foodie, not on Google. You got to look inside yourself. And stop blocking that. But I doubt you will look inside yourself because if you did, you may not like what you see there. There's also acknowledging with the four of pentacles in reverse, there's greed and materialism and self-protection. Hence, again, why you can't learn the lesson because you're focused on being greedy with the. Uh, and she's focused on YouTube. She's focused on subscribers. She's focused on views. She's focused on engagement, everything but herself. She's poured everything into her channel and the online persona. Like she lost the plot. She went from being a person to a persona and she lost herself in the process. And she really doesn't want to find herself again. Capricorn energy is on that earth sign energy. Spirit is also acknowledging that in your focus on greed and materialism, you are celebrating. You feel very creative and you feel like you can gather with like-minded people who are focused on that. 
Okay, it is still emotional, but it's not like that sad emotion. It's like that happy emotion that one gets when they feel like they're fulfilling a goal or 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 smashing a goal. Does that make sense to you? Uh, Spirit is saying that this celebration and this um, hurrah, it feels like hurrah, hooray kind of energy is because she feels like she is working hard and she is getting the bag. She is getting the money. She is focusing on entrepreneurship and she is working tedious and hard. Okay. She is very focused. Okay. Focusing on engagement. Now y'all remember the last reading I did, those cards came up. Y'all remember I showed them to you. Those two. Like there were a few cards in this reading that came up, but I remember those two specifically. Those two came up. Yes, they did. But see, this engagement only further keeps you in the dark mm -hmm. because that's just one small aspect of your life when there's a much bigger focus that needs to have focus, okay? Um, with some Gemini energy on it, some air sign energy, she feels trapped. She can't see. She can't move. It is emotional. But this is the entrapment that she's created for herself, yeah. that she's caused on herself yeah. with the Eight of Swords. There's isolation in this energy, uh, restriction in this energy, and imprisonment. But this is self-imprisonment because, again, you're not focusing on the bigger goal in your life. You're focusing on money, and you're focusing on engagement, and you're focusing on popularity. And like that card said, that's all an illusion because it's focusing on self-absorption and that's not where they want you. That's not where spirit wants you. Spirit is also acknowledging with the three of swords in reverse is some air sign energy on this as well. But now we're focused. It's kind of like hitting at Libra energy. Spirit is acknowledging that um, there is forgiveness and there is optimism and there is releasing pain because this situation has to come to a head. And whether she likes it or not, if she cannot do this separation, the universe will do it and it's going to hurt. Yep, and that's how spirit works. Whether you want to let go of something or not, spirit's going to make you separate. It's just how it is. You may want to be with somebody and you love them to death, but if they're not the right person, something's going to happen or a bunch of things are going to happen to where you guys break apart because that's just how it's supposed to be. If something is meant to be with you, it'll be with you and it won't go. But if you're around something that's not supposed to be around you, it's going to hurt. Do so you figure it out and you let it go? And in the process of it hurting, she will learn forgiveness. This reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. Now we sit back and let the universe do what the universe does. That was really an excellent reading, Neo. Really loved it. And I love your delivery. Like I said, I appreciate your sash, your class, and your feistiness. And the fact that you just tell it like it is. <laughs> So I hope you guys have enjoyed this react to Neo Tarot's reading. I'm going to go ahead and post it along with a link in the description for this video. Uh, please check out Neo Tarot's channel and give her a like, give her a thumbs up, give her some engagement. Like I, I think she really deserves more attention and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'm going to go ahead and post it up on YouTube. So please take care and have a good one. Good night.